Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for July 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, this is a general reading, and yes, I'm going to be using my Radley Valentine decks. My Angel Tarot cards for the main message, I will pull one from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I'll also pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest, okay? I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. My job is just to deliver the message and try to step out of the way and hopefully not necessarily interpret it too much. So um, one of the things I do want to let you know is that I do have the fireworks going on behind me because the 4th of July is a national holiday for the United States. It is the United States birthday, so happy birthday to all who celebrate. Stay safe out there. But I also have the fireworks because the first 10 days of July has a lot of different types of transits going on. So, you know, expect some stress, expect some tension. There might be some, um, you know, anger. There might be some possibly some very happy surprises, too. But I feel like it's a little bit more tense, a little bit more stressful. So we want to make sure that, you know, just be aware there could be fireworks. Could be good, could be pretty, could be a little bit, like I said, a little bit shocking too. So let's see. We're going to use my um, Radley Vellon, I'm sorry, my Weight Rider Tarot, and we will pull three cards just to see how the overview for the weekend will look. Again, that stressful time with those transits, I said like from June 30th till um, July 10th. So one, two, and three. Let's see what we have for the weekend. Move those out. Okay, remember, reversed cards have stronger energy. First card is, okay, right there. This is reversed, so it's a little stronger. It is a five. Fives has some change energy, positive or negative. You're never quite sure. This is um, the five of rods or the five of wands. This is your Leo, Sagittarius, your Aries, fire energy, passionate, burning, determined, and there's a little bit of a conflict here. Nobody's really beating, the, beating each other over the head too much, but there is, some, um, there is some opposition. There is some not necessarily, you know, oh, here, the pathway is nice and free for you. So there, you know, this is kind of that stressors that I was talking about. There is some opposition, but again, nobody's really beating each other over the head. So, so don't be too alarmed with this. Let's see what we have next. The Empress. Now, we have our three. Three is um, very, very um, powerful in that it, there is the power of three. You do something three times. You, you say something three times that there's a lot of energy that comes to that. It's also the Trinity. There's also a lot of creativity. There is also the Empress. So whatever is happening here, it's. I feel like in a way that the Empress is ready to birth something new. Now, granted, this is the 4th of July, so birth a new nation, birth a new, um, just birth a new um, beginning, but I, I kind of get a birthing type of energy from the Empress. It doesn't mean that people are getting pregnant. It just means something new. It's almost like the time, the waiting time, it just, we keep waiting and waiting. It's almost time for the birthing. Now, uh, the Empress has a lot of universal energy. I do feel like the Empress is what the universe brings down to us and watches over us and um, basically takes care of us in a good way. Now, the Empress also brings about abundance. Let's see what we have next. Okay, now, again, reversed. Now we have a two, two of wands or two of rods. And there has, this is, again, twos have some decision-making. But this person here does not look really upset with their decisions. There is, you know, looking also, you know, kind of giving it a global look, looking at the moon, looking at the moon, the earth, looking at, you know, my, my choices, my directions, which way do I want to go. This also brings about a, a feeling, a, you know, just a statement of I do have choices. I can make these changes. I can go down. Neither of these really feel uh, malicious. Neither of these feel harsh either. So with the 
Empress and the Two of Rods, that has a really good beginning, a really good things are happening, things are moving. There is some eh, type of energy with this five that's kind of like, oh, I've got to keep struggling. i got to, you know, but it, again, it's one of these times that push through it, push through it, push through the weekend, push through this time. Things, things actually, I feel really positive with this. Okay. Okay. So, ah, anyway, it'll be interesting to see. Let me know. Please like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for further notifications, but let me, let me know, you know, how these um, intro readings are working. They're more of a global, they're more of a overview though. So let's start with our readings now. Hello, my Aries. How are you? Well, let's see what we have for my Aries. Okay, let's see what we have here. One, let's go on one more time. There we go. Okay, one, two, and three. First card is reversed. Here we are. The weekend for my Aries. The king of earth. You have been growing in your profession. You have been going more and more. People have been giving you more recognition for what you do, what you know. So I don't know, but I kind of feel like if you own a, I don't know, own a shop, restaurant, if you own a business, uh, I kind of feel like you're going to have an influx. You're going to have an influx of business. Um, if you are somebody that does something, you know, with your hands or if you, offer your services to somebody, I think you're going to have an influx with business, okay? I feel like there's a growth with business, that there is, that there, there's a lot of business is going to come on. You might need to take, if you're a solo person, you may need to take a partner it, or consider it. Consider it if you are, you know, if you're a business owner or a manager, you may need to consider, you know, can your, um, can your profit line support additional help? OK, because I do feel like there is a surge coming for you with your business. Um, it could also be that you are recognized in your business where you are working and, you know, and you're being watched and groomed for that higher place. Now, King's underlying energy is air. That is our Aquarius, our Gemini, our Libra thought processes, plans. It's a lot of business, you know, just kind of thinking things through. Earth energy is our Taurus, our Virgo, our Capricorn. Lots to do with your home, your money, your career, how you make your money. Okay, so between the two, the king, the king has that the smarts, and but also has the business knowledge. So this is great professional energy here. So I do feel like there could be a surge in your business or in your career with this. You might be hearing about something maybe this Friday. Okay. So, com generous, professional, responsible, practical. Or, I mean, it could be that you get a mentor that's all of these things, but I think this is a little more personal for you. A successful time. Confidently accept opportunities you're offered. The Midas touch. Remember, that one was reversed. Here we go. The seven of air. Seven's under, okay. Seven is a divine number. It is, you know, it is also what I call the divine umbrella. And what that means is that you do what you have to do, but then you give it up to higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine, the source, whoever that is, and they actually take over for you. Um, now, air energy is our Aquarius. It's our, you know, like I told you, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, thought processes, making plants. It's also about hearing news. So, you know, there might be something that, you know, you might be thinking, this is where I want to go. This is where I want to go. This is where I want to go. And all of a sudden, your pathway widens. And it's kind of like, you know, you might be a little bit like, no, 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 I'm, I'm really set on this. And you're, you know, with whatever this is, you may, you know, your pathway may be a little bit faster. Okay, like I said, you, you're going, you know, if you are a business owner, manager, something like that, you may have to look at your budget and say, you know, my, this, is, this is happening a little faster than what I expected. It could also be that job offering could be, a, offer could be coming a little bit faster than you expected also. So, there, so you have to kind of do a shift. You have to do a mental shift. You have to say, no, okay, now this is where I need to go now. Uh, I'm, this is no longer the option. This is where I have to go. But again, this is a mental shift. 
but your divine will help you through this. Plans that need revision, more going on than meets the eye, poor timing. Next card, the Ace of Earth. Well, that's your beginning, okay? This is your beginning. Ace is a one, one new beginning, new start. Earth energy again. So there is an inflow there. Like I said, something's growing. Something is taking you a new direction in that business energy, in that work energy, or even in that home energy. I mean, it could be because you got a raise that you're getting a new home now. It's it's like there's a, like, whatever this surge is, it gives, it's the seven of air is saying things shifted. Maybe they're coming, you know, maybe your plans will have to be a little bit quicker now. You know, you might have had a very good, okay, in July, this is what I expect, August, you know, and now what's, what you expected in September is coming up now, okay? But the Ace of Earth is about that new opportunity, inflow of abundance, new job, new money, however you want to put that, okay? The inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, important documents or contracts. Now, uh, you know, I'm always saying, have a lawyer look at that because I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a lawyer. Okay. Well, let's go on. So it looks like things are flowing now. Things are flowing. At least this weekend, things will start to flow. So all of that Leo energy, even though there can be, there's going to be kind of that tension going on, this looks very positive tension for you. Reversed. The Eight of Michael. So Michael in itself is air energy. We've talked about that. Eight is an unlimited opportunity, unlimited possibilities, something that's going to possibly open those gates for you, open the, you know, open open your your potential for you. I think we're just going to read this because I think this is um, really, you know, this is what needs to be said. You can be free. Make a courageous choice to change your situation, not seeing things clearly. Like I said, you know, here it's kind of like it, there, it could be a little bit overwhelming because you're like, I'm, I wasn't quite ready for this. Just move with it. Look, go with the flow. Go with the flow, my Aries. So let's see what... Go with the flow and own it. Let's see for my Aries what crystal or energy would be helpful for this time. Because, yeah, there can be some stressors with this because it happens so quickly. Reversed. Citrine. I do have some citrine right here. Oh, citrine is all about wealth, enhanced career um, prospects, self-esteem, manifestation. I love that. I mean, that really is a perfect stone to have, a perfect crystal to carry. Not expensive. Okay, go with the flow and own it, my Aries. I'm going to use that for your title. So, remember the button, like, share, subscribe, click on the bell. All of it helps. The most important thing, though, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.